Hi guys, welcome to this video. My name is Tyler and today we're going to be going over monomers and polymers. Now, monomers and polymers link to many of the topics in A-level biology, including the biological molecules. So stuff like carbohydrates, proteins, lipids, stuff like that. So first up, living organisms, including ourselves, are made up of many compounds that each have different structures, functions and appearances. Some compounds will be small and others will be much larger. Some of these smaller compounds can bond together to form the larger, more complex molecules. Now, now we're going to look at monomers versus polymers. Monomers are small units that make up larger compounds called polymers. Monomers join together in a regular pattern to produce polymers. The monomers must form repetitive chains to create polymers. Now let's have a look at the word monomer. Mono means one. And let's have a look at the word polymer. Poly means many. The reason we have the one in monomer is because monomers are the smallest units that polymers can be made out of. And the reason we have poly in polymer is because we have many monomers to create a polymer. And to get from monomers to polymers, it's called a polymerization reaction. So you're forming a polymer. Now let's have a look at forming polymers. Monomers join together to form polymers via condensation reactions. Condensation reactions involve the joining of compounds to form a chemical bond with the elimination of water. So for example, I'm showing you two glucose molecules here. As you can see, on each glucose molecule, there is an OH group. These OH groups actually combine to create a bond, but this produces water, and so water is formed. Now, this repeats to create a polymer, because at the moment we have a dimer, which consists of two monomers joined together, and this is not a polymer. Examples of polymers include this polymer here, this polymer here, and this polymer here. And now let's have a look at forming monomers. Polymers can be broken down into monomers via hydrolysis reactions. Hydrolysis reactions involve the breaking down of compounds by breaking chemical bonds with the usage of water. So as you can see here, we've got two glucose molecules joined together. Let's just assume this is a whole polymer. Let's just assume we're looking at part of the polymer. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to use water for this process. And this actually breaks the bonds and this repeats to break down the whole polymer. Now that's it for the contents of this video. I really do hope you find it useful. Have a go at these practice questions slash activities to test your knowledge. Pause it and give it a go. And here's your answers. Now that's the end of this video. If you find it useful, please give it a like and consider subscribing to our channel. Make sure to look at our content because we might post some content regarding your other A-levels. I really hope you find this useful and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.